Morning. What was that on? Bit of Led Zeppelin. Right. Yeah, that must have been one of their B-sides. Yeah, Japanese import, I think. Anyway, what a cracker day that we have in store today. This is going to be big. Huge for us. Well, me mainly, but you might get some spin-off too. A live telecast auction on TV right around the country. You're not nervous, are you? Julian, you only get nervous when you are unprepared. And I, my man, am very prepared. Nothing can throw me off. What if they ask about the asbestos? Just testing you. It was only built two years ago. Yes. Response from buyers has been huge. Should be a new record today. This will be massive for my profile. Have you got the gavel? No, I thought you had it. Oh man, seriously? I need that gavel. Well, it's a bit old fashioned, isn't it? Yes, it is old fashioned. It's part of the theatre and auctions are the theatre of the suburbs. That's why people show up. I'm like a judge handing down a ruling. Well, just use a rolled up contract then. Oh, there's no sense of tradition with your generation. You'd probably use a gavel app or something. I gavel. Bugger, Julian. That's my good luck charm. Whoa, look at that crowd. It's insane. Lots of people want to get their heads on TV. Holy shit, that's the ex. What's she doing here? Maybe not so many people tuned in to watch. What a biblical disaster. Oh, was that a priest just strangled? <laughs> that was Ted Double Cross bidding with my ex-wife, buying their dream home. Oh, it's Whitney. Oh. Oh. Hello, Marcus. Oh, look, we're actually just going through a tunnel, so is there any, it's going to be hard. It, uh, is it, is it, uh, is it, I can hear you perfectly, Marcus, and you're nowhere near a tunnel. Oh, it's Ted Cross. Bad luck today, mate. Better luck next time. The great Marcus Lowe. You are a real piece of work. Thank you. Tell me, Marcus, what was that performance today exactly? Ignoring bids, are we now? No, mate. No, not at all. The sun was in my eyes. Don't bullshit a bullshit a Marcus. The whole country could see me trying to put in bids. The crowd was booing you, and not just for that cheap suit you were wearing. Back in the day, you used to pluck bids off trees. Yeah, I miss those days. You saw me, mate. Most unprofessional, but not unexpected. You're a small man, Marcus, who needs to let go. Nicole and I plan a long life together. We want the house, and you know we'll get it. Well, you can tell that ex of mine that there's a Chinese buyer waiting to sign. Tell her yourself, mate. She's right here. Marcus, what has gotten into you? You call me a black-hearted bitch on television? What sort of example is this for Ruby? Honestly, Nicole, of all the people, you end up with Ted Cross. I thought you had better taste. Well, I was with you for 10 years. Oh, for fuck's sake, pull over. I'm driving. Jesus. Drives like a woman. Whitney. I was following you. Tunnels my ass. I expected a record to be set today, but not quite what transpired. Beautiful day. Massive crowd. Cameras everywhere. Our company name in lights. I've never seen an auctioneer ignore a bid before. A bid made by our fiercest rival, no less. Ted fucking Cross. 
voluntarily handing back some of the income he's grifted. Sure, you finally took the bid when the crowd started to boo and shout rigged, but the real show didn't start until you went inside to talk with the vendors. The thing about lapel microphones, Marcus, is they go where you go. The audience skyrocketed from the moment we heard the thud of your knees on the living room floor through the 40 minutes of pathetic begging and whimpering that followed. It's even on the internet, I'm told. Oh, uh, yeah. Auctioneer loses his mind. Two million views. You know, I was actually impressed, Marcus, at how you convinced the vendor to not accept an offer $400,000 over reserve. Playing on their Christian sensibilities and begging them not to allow their sanctuary of love be defiled by that soulless prick and that black-hearted bitch. And then you tell them about the mystery Chinese buyer offering more than cross. <laughs> what a twist! Made for good television. Oh, great television! However, there was no mystery Chinese buyer, was there, Marcus? He doesn't exist. Just like your family. Just like your career. Just like your future, Marcus. Three million. Look what I found in the back. Get out. What, you seriously gonna leave me on the side of a road? Yes, get the fuck out! I didn't know that it was back there, it was an accident. Was it? You think I haven't noticed how fucking complimentary you are of Ted Cross? Well, credit where it's due, Marcus. Credit where it's fucking due? You tried to sabotage me, you little shit. What are you talking about? There's a line in the sand and you don't cross it. Not one admiring glance, not one fucking complimentary remark. So if you're with me, you're all in. Enjoy your lucky gal. Hey Ruby, did you watch the auction? Yeah, it was good. You think? Yeah, didn't really want to live in that house anyway. It's no place for my basketball hoop. Good result then. Hey Dad. Yes, Princess. Does Mum really worship Satan? Yes, Ruby, she does. Thank <laughs> you.